Good evening everyone, it's Natasha here from the Over Vintage Affair and welcome to my Sunday evening showcase. I'm standing up today as you can see. <laughs> um, today I'm going to be sharing with you antique silver and I'm doing antique silver because it's a, an area in my collection which I actually love. I personally buy quite a lot of silver for myself because it's great investment pieces. So not only the case of silver and it's antique, keep them for 30, 40 years, even 20 years, if you don't want to wait that long, and then trade them in for um, cash. Now, the, the rise of silver has been increasing over the years, and I think it's even more important to invest in something that's quite sustainable and not being um, quite a carefree of where you put your investments. But overall, make sure you buy items that you love and that you can use if you want to use them as well. That's the main thing is um, important about buying antique silver, I think. So I'm just going to kick off with these items I have here, which are large cut glass vanity jars. And they have a really cool repost lid with a shield and a cartouche shape, which is not got any um, engravings on it, which is great. And you've got a gilt lining, if you can see that in the video there. We've got like a honeycomb cut glass star base, really lovely quality pieces, just tiny little dents on there, but nothing that's too kind of um, scary as far as quality is concerned. No cuts or chips on the glasses either. I've got these, um, what have I got these are? Birmingham um, 1943 and I have them at 62 pounds each. So you can buy one or buy two, you have the freedom there. Uh, second up is cutlery you know I love cutlery now this is a silver handled item so we've got a it's a fruit knife use it for cheese board use it for fruit it's a knife I'm not gonna tell you how to use it it's got a stainless steel blade and it's a very art deco because it's got a linear design on it and it's got hallmarks um, dating from 1920 and I say dating from 1920 because I have several of these which go up to 1923 so if you want to do like a dinner party or have a bit of a soiree because it's time for doing more soirees we've got several of these sterling silver handled knives and these are at 32 pounds each it cuts this love 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 look at that engraving on there beautiful floral and leaf engraving on this calling card case it's got um, gilt lining in there it's continental silver it has an engine turned back come here i'm <laughs> fiddling with the light so you can see the details there it's got engine turned back and it's got good closure on there really sweet calling card case and this is online at 97 pounds now everything i'm saying telling you all the prices are without postage i do ship internationally as well and all items are actually on the website so just head to um the home page and the home page will take you straight to sh um to the sunday evening showcase or head if you're on instagram to the link in bio and press the tab which will take you to the page which has got all these items next up a napkin ring i have a few of these in silver i do collect quite a lot of um, silver plate but it's nice to get decent weighted ones quality designs in antique silver as well so this one is engraved with an engine turned design has beading along the edges really sweet wide shape made by william and henry of stratford not heard of them be honest with you but it sounds like a good maker to me it sounds quite prominent william and henry i think so this one is on at 68 pounds and it dates 1874 so this is a really old piece but in beautiful condition what have I got here? Look at that. It's huge. I didn't actually realise how big this was when I purchased it in the first place. It's a sugar shift ugh, a sugar sifter. So it does what it says. You've got um screw lid. Screw it off there. Repost body, beautiful work on that. Look at that. And we've got the um, perforated, which is all hand hammered around the edges. And a tiny, if you can see that little emblem of a lion on there. Really lovely, huge piece of silver, this. And this is repulse design all the way around, as you can see. Hand chased. And it's by Horse Woodard and Co Limited. 
It's a London hallmark and it dates 1893. Another really old piece. Beautiful. Love this. What I love about this is that, yes, you can put sugar in, like ice and sugar, flour for really flouring your when you're kneading your dough etc i don't do much cooking <laughs> or even put talcum powder in it how cool would that be beautiful piece or just keep it and um love it really it's 300 pounds and this one's online at the moment as well love that let's have some more cutlery guys let's have a quick look okay bear with me a second fix that there so I have a duo, which means two, <laughs> knife and fork, uh, knife and fork. And what I love about these is that they are fully sterling silver. So it's not got um, a mixture of silver plate and sterling silver. All of it is. So the top ends and the bottom ends are marked. It's got really cool um, shell designs on these. I have two pairs, they're very heavy pieces. I can't give you the weights up, unfortunately, because I need to get a new set of scales. But they are, got, as I said, a repulse shell design at the bottom, fully hallmarked Smith & Son London. And these are £110 for the two, yeah. So it's, I'm selling them as a duo only. They are Hallmark London 1880. Okay, that's 1880, these ones. Really old and beautiful and, you know, there's another pair here so there's actually option to buy two of them and still on with the cutlery look at this dinky fella tiny coffee spoon simple it's actually um, from Peru it is sterling silver 95 and it's 15 pounds I have a couple of these available as well it's a coffee spoon what else can I say this here love 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 look at that cut glass it's amazing. I love um, floss bottles personally because I think they're really impressive. And this has got like a honeycomb diamond cut on the front and back and rib cuts along the sides. Push off silver lid. This flask dates, the lid actually dates 1930 silver, but I think the bottle itself is a bit older. So I don't believe that the lid is the original to the glass bottom, but that doesn't mind because it fits. It has a flat bottom, so it can actually, I can't even show you here, but it actually free stands as well. So if you want to kind of decant, use it as a small decanter, you can do. And this I have at £120. It's stunning. I was actually happy when I really found this one. I'm actually quite tempted to keep it myself. And lastly, I just want to share what else here. Uh, a couple of more napkin rings. I just picked these ones up recently fully engraved all the way around of a leaf design which is quite unusual no flowers just leaves has beading along the edges and i've got them up as a pair and i've chosen these two because they're actually got a good weight to them and they're a good thick size as well so i have them at 70 pounds for the pair they date um dun 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 dun, these hold on let me quickly check i think these are london See, I can't remember all of them off by heart. That is, yeah, they're London Hallmark and they're 1874. Okay, that's it with the silver. There's actually more on the um, grid and on the website, including these fellas and this really cool um, serving spoon. So all the details are on the website. Please head to the link in the bio and please, guys, check out the rest of the Salvage Sunday dealers that have got all their videos up. It's a full set on today lots of dealers are selling um some of them are even at the fairs today which has been great so guys check them all out any questions dm me or send me um uh, an email i'm on the instagram and facebook all evening so just send us a message anyway thank you for joining me and standing up <laughs> enjoy the rest of your evening guys and take care thank you Bye bye